I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in the outcome of this game. Um, really proud of our team, the way they battled and fought back. Um, we didn't play well enough in the first half defensively or rebound the ball well enough in the first half, but we did in the second half, We just, but we couldn't overcome it. And uh, our inability to get to the free throw line was a big part of this game. And uh, that's where the game was lost. Um, so we weren't able to get there, and they were. Yep. Well, he's a good player. I mean, B.J. Taylor's a heck of I a mean, look, Central Florida's got a nice team. I mean, he's, uh, uh, he's terrific. He's good off the bounce. Uh, again, he got to the foul line, um, and he can shoot threes. He made a couple big-time threes. You know, look, Central Florida, when they got their shots and they got their looks, they knocked them down. Uh, we had enough looks in the second half, but we didn't knock ours down. They didn't go in, and so uh, I don't want to oversimplify it and you know say they made shots and we didn't. But they made shots when they had to. B.J. Taylor's a heck of a player, um, and uh, you know the Williams kid. Obviously, uh, once he got off, we did a much better job on him after the first you know five or ten minutes of the game. But uh, B.J. Taylor's a good player. We we tried to keep him out of the lane as best we could. Our ball screen defense wasn't good enough tonight. Um, it broke down too too often for for a, a game at this level and and certainly this time of year. Coach Derek White had a big night, thirty points. What was he doing well? Derek's a great player. I mean, he's one of the best players in the Pac-12, and you know he can shoot it, he can drive it, he can. Uh, uh, he usually gets to the foul line. Um, you know, he had five tonight, but. Um, uh, wasn't able to get there as often as as maybe the Taylor kid did, but uh, uh, you know Derek's a terrific player. Had a great look at the end there to uh, you know tie the game. I mean our guys battled back and they missed enough free throws, thank goodness, to let us back in the game. But um, again, you got to make that shot. And, uh, but Derek White's done so much for us all year. You look at his line. I mean, 30 points, six assists, six rebounds. I mean, he's he does everything for us and a terrific player. You know, I thought our guys, the first four or five minutes of the game were, were kind of in adjustment mode. Um, and, you know, you can't, uh, you can't simulate taco fall in practice, obviously. You try to get the sticks out and the pads and, and do the best you can. But until our guys are there and he's a, you know, a human being that's got arms and legs and can and, uh, affect shots, I thought the first five or six minutes of the game he was a major factor in our guys' heads and minds. But I thought as the game went on, after they adjusted to it, they did a great job. Um, and I thought he was less of a factor defensively. But he's, you know, he, he's a game changer in terms of their ability to pr pressure on the three-point line and run you off there knowing that he's going to you know, clean a lot of things up. But uh, uh, he's a, a unique player that you, know, you don't run across, obviously, every day. And, um, but I thought the, the difference in the game was, was B.J. Taylor and, and, and the Williams kid in the first half. Coach, George King's your third leading scorer. Mm -hmm. He had just two points. What was yeah. going on with him? Yeah, George struggled. He, he never really got in the rhythm. And, and um, uh, it's tough because we need, you know, we need more than just two guys. You need that third guy to kind of step up. And uh, he didn't get as many looks as he normally does. And, you know, he's got to become a better player off the dribble. He's a very good catch and shoot guy. I think everybody knows that, um, but he just uh, he struggled tonight. Had three offensive rebounds, but uh, we we needed more out of him. But uh, I, I was more disappointed in our defense and in our rebounding than I was, you know, our offense. Uh, you're going to have some guys have subpar games, and other guys, you know, play a little bit better, but. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, the energy, the effort, I don't think it was anything that like we weren't ready to play or we didn't want to be here, nothing like that. I mean, our, you saw the way our guys fought back at the end. I mean, and uh, we, again, defensively in the first half, they shoot 61.5% and out rebound you by, you know, seven or eight. It's not good enough. You know, it's not good enough. And uh, uh, so we talked about that, but I thought our effort and our energy was good enough. It's just our execution wasn't good enough. And uh, again, you know, they shoot 32 uh, uh, free throws and we shoot six. Now, 14 of those 32 were, were gimmies when we were fouling to stop the clock and extend the game. 
But, you know, you take those 14 away, it's uh, still it's 22 to 6 on the free throw line. Just a huge disparity and a lot to overcome in a, in a game like this. And, and uh, so I was disappointed with that. Um, but what are you going to do? You just you got to try to overcome it. And our guys that tried, but we just weren't able to in the end. Yeah, B.J. Taylor, you know, he could play in any league in the country. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, I would say the same for Williams and, and uh, Banyard's a heck of a player. And, you know, these guys are long. They're athletic. Um, you know, the kid that hurt us in the first uh, game was – or the first half was A.J. Davis. I mean, he had more than his average at halftime. <laughs> I mean, so they've got good players. I mean, obviously uh, – now, they don't have the depth that I think uh, – uh, but – when you don't foul and you only give up six free throws in a game, depth really is a non-factor. But um, it wasn't tonight.